Hi everyone, this is Mo Volans back for Tuts Plus and I'm going to do two quick tip videos back to back uh, so they'll probably be published pretty close together and they're both going to be on synthesis. Now I think there's a number of sounds in synthesis, subtractive synth synthesis that is, or virtual analog you might know it as. These are basically uh, the, the majority of synths you're going to have and the majority of the new analog boxes that are coming out now are um, really subtractive. So if you can learn subtractive synthesis and you can learn these foundation sounds um, then you can pretty much make any sound you want. Now the sounds that I'm talking about are probably effects, pads and strings, leads, uh, basses, uh, and that's about it really. If you can make, if you can quickly switch from a bass to a lead and from a pad or a string to an effect uh, in a few moves, then you've pretty much nailed nailed subtractive synthesis. Now I searched high and low for an affordable, really simple um, synth to do these tutorials in, and I came up with the FabFilter One, and it's thirty nine quid runs in pretty much any format and it's got about what 15 20 controls so it's it's about as simple as it gets so this is either a refresher course for you if you you know have really forgotten the roots of your synthesis knowledge or it's great for going to be great for beginners if you're sort of trying to learn synthesis the first thing i'd probably uh, i'm going to start off with is effects because it's probably uh, one of the most interesting and fun things to start playing around with um, and there's two really two things um, in effects that I'd say you've sort of got to concentrate on and that's self oscillation and the use of noise because these are both sort of atonal they're non-musical so you can really fit them in anywhere in your um, arrangement so let's take a look at what we've got at the minute um, this is basically just the uh, default saw wave patch so the filter's wide open the uh, envelope is wide open there's one envelope the LFO is not on um, which is down here they call it the mod modulation generator there's one LFO, one envelope, one filter, one oscillator. It doesn't get any more simple than this. Um, but I'm going to start to use noise. Now, because there's only one oscillator, we can if we switch the, um, the oscillator mode to noise, all you're going to hear is white noise. So let's look at a couple of different things um, that we can do here. Now the LFO or modulation generator is pretty limited in nature so there's only a couple of waveforms I would have liked to have shown you something called sample and hold and I'll probably do that uh, with a random LFO and another synthesizer as we move on. But um, as soon as you've got this noise, ramp up the resonance, apply the filter, mo uh, the modulation generator and bring the frequency down. In fact let's bring the resonance to halfway. And let's up that filter modulation to 100%. Now start to raise the speed. Raising the resonance. And you've got a classic sort of laser effect. So that's really sort of a, a modulated laser effect in what? Four moves. Now if you modulate the frequency, you've got a great effect for builds and rises. So that's an easy effect, but the real trick is to get back to where you were. So frequency back up, resonance down, Modulation generator down, back to saw wave, and without even listening to it, we're back to our default patch. So you really want to learn to get to those moves, uh, learn those moves quickly. So noise, frequency, filter peak, modulation generator. And back again. One, two, three, four. And if you can make those moves quickly, you can go from a default patch to an effect almost instantly. It's a real classic um, analog effects there in literally three or four moves from a default patch. So practice that, and that is basically noise based effects. Um, you can use the envelope as well if you like. Uh, so rather than using the LFO, we can use the envelope to
sort of wind and wave effects. Take the resonance down a bit. So easy wind effects. And again, back to the same patch. Take the envelope off. Put the envelope back to where it was, attack, release, sustain, decay. Back to our patch. And there's the trick, moving quickly between those sounds. So hopefully this has helped you understand really fast and quick uh, noise-based effects in a simple uh, uh, subtractive synthesizer. Next, I'm going to do pads and strings with the same synth in the same amount of time. So I'll see you in the next video.